we're going to look at dry needling for the soleus muscle. Now this is such a powerful plantar flexor, it often gets riddled with trigger points. Um, so we're going to look at some dry needling techniques to address this muscle safely. Okay, so when we look at the, the attachment of this muscle, so it's origin is from that sleal line of the tibia and then it's coming up obliquely to the posterior aspect of the fibula running all the way down into that calcaneal tendon inserting into the calcaneus so importantly with this muscle it's it is really quite quite broad um, so gastrocnemius is sitting on top but then just lateral to that we've got our fibularis muscle so we want to make sure that we do stay in soleus now, the angle of approach that we're going to look at here is going to, going to come in laterally, so we don't disturb the gastrox when we don't really need to. Um, and we also need to be aware of these neurovascular structures that are running really deep through the posterior lower leg. So if we come in laterally, we can also come in medially, but it keeps us well clear of those structures. Okay, so when we, I'll get you to plantar flex for me. Okay, so we can see the line of that soleus, it sits really quite broad. And if we differentiate that from our um, fibularis muscles, so we plantar flex and evert, and that's going to be a little bit further around. So we've got fibular head down onto uh, the lateral malleolus, fibularis longus and brevis are going to sit along there. So we want to make sure that we are this side of that muscle going straight into soleus. So relax there. Okay, so obviously using our alcohol swab to clean the area. Making sure that we're on that muscle. Okay, and that is going to get right into soleus. So we can target multiple different um, spots down the lateral aspect of that muscle. And like I said before, we can also target it medially as well. So that's a dry needling technique for the soleus.